Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Talisha, also known as Creativity by T. And today I am sharing with you a pattern haul and I picked up a few new fabrics. So I'm gonna share those fabrics at the end. So I picked up some simplicity patterns, a new look pattern and some Vogue. So I'm gonna go ahead and start the video off with sharing those patterns with you. And like I said, I'll show you the fabrics at the end. So let's get to it. So for the first pattern that I picked up, I picked up Simplicity 9327 and the pattern description is Mrs. Dress. And the reason why I picked this up is because I love the flutter sleeves that we have there. And I also love the bottom tier. So I would probably make the view B or even possibly the view C. Um, view A is okay, but that's not really why I purchased it. But I really, really like this pattern. And the fabrics that are needed for this is going to be cotton blends, double gauze, gingham, linen blends, poplin, silky types. And for this particular pattern, I would end up making a size 20. So yes, Simplicity 9327. So the next pattern that I picked up is Simplicity 9141. And I picked this up for basically all the views. I like them. But I had passed on this pattern before because it's a sheared pattern. But then I listened to someone on YouTube who, had, who was actually reviewing this pattern and stated that it's not like real shearing. You can actually use bias tape to feed in elastic and then it brings in the shearing that way. And I do not know how to shear yet and I'm really not interested. However, I do like the look. So I figured, hey, I could go ahead and still make this pattern because I could use the bias tape and thread the elastic through because that is something that I have done before. So, the pattern description is Mrs. Dresses with sheared bodice and shoulder ties in mid calf and midi lengths. And the fabric choices uh, that they suggest are chambray, soft cottons, double georgette, gauze, linen, lightweight poplin, rayon, silky types, and vial. So I would definitely, definitely eventually sew this up. Then we have Simplicity 9. Two nine six, and this is a Gertie pattern and I purchased this for view B which is the main picture here on the pattern the pattern description is Mrs. Dresses and the fabric choices are cotton blends linen sateen taffeta shantug broadcloth and there's no finished measurements for the bust on the back so i would actually have to look at the pattern piece to see what size i would make but the main reason why i got this dress was because of this view and the v right there i would probably have to measure the v to make sure it doesn't go too low because i do have um, cleavage that starts pretty high up so I don't want to be too exposed, but I thought that the pattern was super cute. Then we have Simplicity 8439. And I purchased this dress basically for both views. I think both views are pretty. And I would make a holiday dress out of this pattern. I think it's very festive, in my opinion, if you use the right fabrics and such. So the description for this pattern is misses and women's dresses with bodice variations and the fabric suggestions are stable lightweight to medium weight fabrics such as shints cotton types linen types satin satin and some other type of fabrics that i have not heard of so this pattern also does not have the finished bust measurements on the actual back of the pattern. So I would have to look at the pattern pieces in order to see what size I would make, but I'm pretty sure it would be a size 20. Then we have Simplicity 9239. And this is a very nice jacket here. I would probably go with view B because it looks like the longer jacket and then there's some pretty nice detail on the sleeve with a cuff and the description is mrs jackets and the fabrics that are suggested are broad cloth canvas chambray chino corduroy cotton types denim linen 
types and satin stretch wovens twill wool types so yeah i thought this was very cute i would probably end up sewing a medium because the finished bust measurements are is 47 and i'm a 45 if i wanted to be real comfortable within it and make sure i have room for sweaters and things like that then i would make a large then we have simplicity 9316 this is a very simple dress every view on the pattern cover is view a so of course i purchased it for view a in the adult size <laughs> i just think it's a simple shift dress with a lot of with cute detail within the sleeves and the neckline and probably a very simple sew so i just thought i'd pick it up pattern description is mother and daughter's dresses and the fabric choices are chambray cotton blends gingham linen blends poplin and yeah i just thought it was super cute and for this pattern i would end up making a size 16 so yeah very simple but cute so then we have simplicity 9334 and this is a top pattern and the reason why i purchased this is because i actually like view a which is what the model is wearing and also this shirt right there i like view b because of the flutter sleeves and the length of those particular sleeves and i like c because they're short flutter sleeves and i just think every shirt option in this pattern is cute the description for this is misses and women's tops in two lengths and the suggested fabrics are crepes linen and linen blends rayon sateen silky types and soft cottons i would end up making a 16 or 18 just depends on how i would want it to fit if i want a little more of a fitted or perfect fit i would go with the 16 but i would go with the 18 if i wanted it to look more relaxed like what the model is wearing then we have simplicity 8888 and i like option one the most but i also like option three which is this 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 option right here is number one and this option right here is number three so i like those two views the best and i purchased this pattern because i just wanted a couple more options for maxi length dresses in my stash but i also purchased it because i like the gathering details that's within this dress and you can see it here by the pockets and here's the line drawing so i thought that was super cute um, the description is mrs dresses with options for design hacking i typically don't hack so i would just make it as is and the suggested fabrics are chambray charmeuse cotton laws cotton types crepes dotted swiss gauze and lightweight linen types so again, that is Simplicity 8888, and I will go for view one or three. So then we have Simplicity 8921, and I like views A, which is at the top. I like views B. I like view C. I don't really care for view for view D, which is this here at the bottom. That's the, I don't like that crisscrossing, but again a b and c is what i'm here for i truly love c because of the ruffles that are by the armholes with the darts in the front once and it i don't know it just seems like it fit kind of awkward but at the same time that pattern was not as long so the shirt was not as long as what this one looks because this one looks like it hits the hip so if that's the case then I feel like it would turn out okay but I am going to give you C a shot that's going to be my first one and if that all goes well then I will make more the pattern description is Mrs. Tops and the fabrics that are suggested are chambray cotton lawn cotton types gingham lightweight linen types shirtings and silky types and i would end up making a size 20 to accommodate my measurements then we have simplicity 9272 and i purchased this pattern for 
view B, which is the cardigan. Um, I do have quite a few cardigan patterns, but some of them are just, they're not simple like this. I really like a simple cardigan. I would probably lengthen it, but I really, really like this one. The pants and the shirt are a bonus, but like I said, I'm here for the cardigan and I would end up making an extra large in this to accommodate my bust size and the description is Mrs. Knit Cardigan Top and Pants. And obviously you would use a knit for this and I really, really like it. Then we have Simplicity 1165. And I purchased this for the pants. And I have been following this one particular person on Instagram for quite some time. And she raves about this pattern for pants. And I do like wide leg pants, but I don't think they always look the best with everything. Sometimes they make you look wider than what you really are. At least they do on my body. And so I wanted to go ahead and try these because I do like leggings. And I know these are not leggings, but they slim, they get thinner uh, as it comes down to the ankle, towards the ankle, I should say. And I just thought I would give it a try. And they're very easy. It's an easy to sew pattern. And it looks like it's easy to sew. It's just got pockets and elastic, so it can't be too hard. And I would actually end up making a size 14 because I don't have a very wide hip area. And so, I, like I said, would make view A or B, whichever one is longer. And I think view A, which is this one right here, I think that is going to be the view that I make. The description is Mrs. Slim pull on pants or above the knee length shorts and short shorts. <laughs> So there you have it. If you want to make pants and you want an easy pattern, I believe this could be a go-to. Then we have a Mimi G pattern. This is Simplicity 9329. And I purchased this before View A, but the only difference between View A, which is on the left, and View B, which is on the right, is the length. And it looks like it's only about two or three inches there in length. But again, I would want mine to be longer. I think this is cute. I especially love the fit and flare design with the v-neck and the puffy sleeves. Everything about the front. I do not like the, um, or I shouldn't say I do not like, I don't prefer the open back here, but I do plan on hacking this to close it off. But yes, definitely here for that. And the description is Mrs. Dresses in two lengths. And like I said, I would make view A because it's the longer length. And I would end up making a size 20 or 22. 20 barely meets my bust measurements. 22 takes me over by an inch, but I just have to probably make a muslin to see which one is best because what I don't want is my bust to fall out of the v-neck so whichever one comes out to fit the best then we have simplicity 9330 which is another Mimi G pattern and I like view A and view B but more than likely if I make it because I purchased it just in case I get up the nerve to make something like that for date night with my husband, I would probably just go with view A. I like view B, but, um, you know, I'm already taking a risk with the top being open like that. <laughs> so the description for this pattern is Mrs. Strapless Jumpsuit and Mini Dress. And I would end up making a size 22. And here's the line drawings for that. But yeah, it's super, super cute, super, super sexy. And I'm not 100% sure if I'd make it. But like I said, if I make it, I'd definitely be going for view A, which is on the left. So then we have Simplicity 9135. And I have passed up this pattern many times. But there's a lady on Instagram that has made this dress several times. And I just didn't think that it would look as nice as it did until I 
saw her dress so i was like i'm going to get that pattern the description for this is mrs dresses with knit midriff full skirt and length and bodice variations so the fabric suggestions are batik chambray cotton types crepe polyester rayon silky types and soft linens and the midriff section should be a stretchable ripped knit fabric and i have plenty of rib knit fabric so i do plan to sew this up pretty soon because it's a very very easy looking sew the necklines uh, are different here you got your standard neckline which is what the model is wearing and in, in the line drawing in view b and then view c you have your v so i'm not really sure um which view i would make I would probably end up going with view C um, because it is more of a plain dress and that would give it a little bit more spice to it. But yeah, so that's simplicity 9135. And I would end up making a size 16 in this one because it's kind of forgiving. So then we have simplicity 8558 and this pattern has been out for a while. But the reason why I purchased it is because I had noticed um, someone made the full set on Instagram and it was so cute. Her pattern choice was just outstanding and I would have never known that it was this pattern because although I like how Mimi G styles her uh, clothes, this particular fabric just didn't do anything for me. So when I saw that outfit i was like i am getting that because i can make a set that would look very similar it would look very pretty so the description for this pattern is mrs pull on wide leg crop pants or shorts online jacket and knit crop top i would never make the crop top um because i just can't do crop tops but yeah i would definitely make a set out of this and i would probably have to make a 20 size 22 for the jacket and i would go for a size 14 with the pants because they are white leg and it's kind of forgiving next is simplicity 8560 which is athletic wear and i just eventually want to make a sports bra and just have something that fits so that's why I purchased this and the description for this is Mrs. Knit Sports Bra. Plain as day. So I am not planning on tackling that pretty soon, but when I do, I would probably make view B, which is the pink one in the center. Then I purchased Simplicity 8754 and I purchased this for the hoodie which is what the little boy is wearing on the right and you know a is a bonus which is a sweatshirt but i am here for the hoodie i want to make my boys some hoodies for the fall and that's why i got it and the description is child's pants and skirt and knit sweatshirt with or without hood and here's the line drawings and honestly the pants are a bonus too but definitely here for this then i purchased simplicity 9158 for my husband and i would only sew up view a or view b so view a is what the model is wearing and view b is this one right here so the description is men's shirt with long sleeves have buttoned placket with or without contrast bands and stand collar and yeah I thought this would be nice for my husband, especially in Ankara fabric, because that's what he likes. Then I picked up a new look pattern and I picked this up for view C. C is this pattern piece right here. And actually view D is nice too, because that's just a longer version. I don't particularly plan on making the versions with the buttons, but definitely views B and C. The description for this is Mrs. Seven Sizes and One. Yeah, not really sure why that's the description, but it is. And I, according to this, would end up making like a size 12. And that is not like near my norm, but 
what I would probably do is make a muslin just to make sure that that is gonna fit me. So now we have our Vogue patterns. I picked up Vogue 1800 because I just love it. I love the sleeves. I love the shift dress shape of this dress with the bust darts and the stand collar. Very plain and simple, but at the same time, it just speaks to you because those sleeves are everything. So the description for this is Mrs. Semi-Fitted underlined dress has pleated puff sleeves, drop shoulders, shaped stand collar, bust dart, side seam pockets. I did not know that. Hand sewn invisible back zipper. Now, I don't know about a hand sewn back invisible zipper. I'd probably just sew it in, but nevertheless, it is super, super cute. I love it. Holiday dress, yes. Church dress, yes. Uh, the suggested fabrics are silk, linen, and peak charmeuse yes so i'm definitely gonna make this definitely you will see this then we have vogue 1802 and i love both views i just love it this is so chic to me and i did see someone that had made this up they made up the shorter version and had the tie and yes very very pretty love the flounce as well the description is Mrs. Dresses, loose fitting dresses, um, pullover dress has collar extending into ties in the back, slit opening at the neck, side seam pockets, and purchase bias facings. Bias facing. So, yeah, very, very cute. And then I picked up this Vogue 1737. It says views B and C on the front. So let, let's see what A is. A is just view B and C that, but it's sleeveless. So yeah, and then there's D, E, and F. Yeah, there's quite a few. So you got A, B, C, D, and F. I would not make F. I would not make E. I would not make D. I would only make versions A, B, and C because of the fit and flare. Would not make those. The straight dresses are not looking good for me right now so I would just stick with A, B, and C because they are the fit and flare. And for the last Vogue pattern that I picked up it's Vogue 1747 and this is a shirt dress and they, there are several views. There's A which has a contrast, B, then you have C, D, E, F, and then you have your ties. The model is wearing view C, which I think is very cute. And here's the line drawing for C. But yeah, I could see myself making A, B, C, or D, and even E actually. I could make all views with this. Um, I didn't like fall in love with this pattern. I just thought it would be a good option. So I don't know when or if I would ever make it, but I do like it. And that is the reason why I picked it up. So that is it for my pattern haul. And I did pick up a few new fabric cuts and I will go ahead and share those with you now. So the first pattern that I picked up is this chili fabric. I thought this was super cute. And what I'm going to make with this is an apron. My family in the fall, we have a chili cook off every year and I just wanted to make an apron as one of the prizes for whoever wins since like i said i thought this was super cute it's unisex so yeah i'm ready to go ahead and get started on that <laughs> and i got it from hobby lobby and then i picked up this bird and floral fabric right here and i picked this up from hobby lobby as well and I really didn't have any intentions on buying this and it really didn't speak to me, but I don't think it's unattractive. I think it is cute, but I purchased it because it was in the Clarence bin and it was only $3 a yard. So that's me and my bad shopping habits. Then I picked up this fabric. Oh, isn't this adorable? Oh, I just love these daisies. Oh, 
so I picked up about four yards of this because I just wanted it and I'm sure I'll make a dress out of it or jumpsuit something but yes love this and then the last fabric that I picked up is this blue and white fabric with flowers amazing amazing love 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 it I don't know what I'm gonna make with it but whatever I make with it I know it's gonna be awesome because this is absolutely beautiful well that is it for my pattern and fabric haul I hope you enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to give me a thumbs up and also do not forget to subscribe if you have not done so already if you have already been subscribed thank you so much for your support and I will see you in the next video bye, bye.